Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Interact. This is The Witcher 1. We're still doing an investigation. We need to talk to the Gravekeeper, and the Gravekeeper isn't here. Ah! You're not a grave digger. You're a gold digger. I ain't saying you're a gold digger. But you look very ugly. Um... So I guess I actually need to wait until the morning to discuss things with the Gravedigger. Which means I need to go to this campfire. Lovely. Great start. Why is it so heavily raining right now? I don't remember it raining this heavily earlier. Huh. Oh. Well, maybe we're gonna have to fight- we're probably gonna have to fight this vampire again before we rest. I feel like it's about time for the vampire to have, to have respawned and attack us again. No? No vampire attacks? Nice. Oh, and we've leveled up so we can distribute some talents. And we're almost to level 15, which means we almost have our gold talents. Let's work on our group silver a little bit. Let's get a little bit more precision going in there. Um, we might want Ard, but let's just actually focus on Igni, because I think Igni's cooler. And let's wait until, uh, dawn. We could have crafted some potions, actually. I do need some more Swallow. Although I don't remember what the ingredients for Swallow are. I don't think I have them. Let me check. What am I missing for Swallow? What am I missing? Better alchemical base require. Okay, so I need I need more bases. Which means I need white gull. But I need better bases. Huh. Okay, so I need to find bases. Which I'm not entirely certain what that even means, but you know, we'll find bases eventually, right? How much orange do we- we are pretty poor, in all honesty. But we just need to go discuss things with this grave digger, grave keeper. We can probably- am I going the wrong direction? I'm sort of going the wrong direction, yep. We can probably uh, actually get into the graveyard now and do some business in there, possibly fight off some ghouls. Some algals. I'm not really sure what the difference between an Al Ghul and a Ghoul is. I mean, I have it in my bestiary, so there is some amount of difference. That dog looks like he's having fun chasing stuff down. Gravedigger, I would much like to speak with you about your grave issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem to know a lot about the deaths in the city. Ever help with investigations? Sometimes Ever help make them dead? More interesting dead men? You scumbag. Maybe you can tell me too. No, I promise to keep quiet. How about I, I have two swords on my what back? You, you seem to know um, about the death. So the tell me what you need to know. Ever help or tell me what you do know. Sometimes I inform Raymond. I don't trust Raymond. I mean, I do I actually trust Raymond, but Raymond, you wouldn't find a more loyal man. He seems to be struggling with this case. I should help. Will you let me inside the cemetery? City authorities prohibited it. Oh my How god. Can I change your mind. I'd need Captain Mice's permission. Oh my god. Another way to sway you? Actually, I have a terrible debt with Taller. Clear those debts, the cemetery keys yours. <sighs> a prisoner died recently. I don't want to go settle your debts. Don't know. You can have another body. Just let me in. I don't I want <laughs> A specific corpse. I'm not looking for just any corpse, dude. What do you think I am, a necrophiliac? Like, come on, man. I'm looking for a specific one. But who does that concern? Could you hand over the prisoner's body for an autopsy? For a bottle of dwarven liquor. I, dwarven liquor. Dwarven liquor. Dwarven liquor. Hey, Dwarven Liquor. Nothing like a good drink. I knew I was keeping this liquor for some reason. About the prisoner. Where you want the body dumped? 
at the hospital. It'll be there by evening. Nice. Farewell. Nice. Okay, so do I still need to get in? I need a permit to enter the cemetery. So I have the body though. Do I actually need to go into the cemetery? So we need to wait for the autopsy. Okay, so we basically just want to. I said it would be at the hospital, right? Come to the hospital at midnight. Okay, so we need to go rest until midnight again. I'm really not a huge fan of these wait until a certain time to do quest type things, but I understand their importance, sort of. Um, I understand why they happen, sort of. But they bother me. I only work. Uh, okay. Sir, can I have? Forgive me, sir. We sell. Farewell. What? Wait, what happened? These guys were going to sell to me earlier. Just a few episodes ago, they they would sell to me without a freaking second thought. What's that? And now they don't want to talk to me at all. What happened? What did I do? I don't remember doing anything wrong. Damn it. Alright, I need to find some place to wait until midnight. Shawnee's going to be at the... Damn it, she's going to be at the thing, isn't she? She's going to be at the hospital. I don't think Zoltan will talk... Or not Zoltan. I don't think Kalkstein will talk to me anymore. But let's see if maybe he'll let me meditate still? I'm pretty sure he actually hates me, so he won't, but... Let's give it a shot. Hey, nice. He will let me wait. Sweet. I thought he hated me, so he wouldn't let me do it. Alright, wait 15 freaking hours. Oh, the waiting game. Pure excitement. Now we go to the hospital. And we get an autopsy on the dead body, and maybe we can finally wrap this whole thing up and be done with this quest. I hope. I pray. Please. Alright. Hospital. Autopsy. Let's go. Shawnee. Do you have the autopsy for me? What's in the laundry basket? Red women's gloves? Perfect. All right, Johnny, got information? Ready for the autopsy? Let's get started. I mean, as ready as I'm ever going to be, I guess. Ooh, nice. Is there a reason why you have shackles on the autopsy table? I'm slightly concerned by this. If we're being entirely honest here. Um, yeah, why are there, like, sh shackles there? Do I just wait, or do I talk to you? Oh, okay. Race, human. Wow. Gender, man. I could have told you Who's most of that. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Like... Whatever you say, <laughs> he died yesterday, torn to pieces. What are you doing with your hand? Oh, no. A werewolf? The moon's shining. Wouldn't he turn into a lycanthrope? I guess. Geralt, no need to test me. I'm a professional. Moving on. Could a human have inflicted these wounds? Only with a two-foot jaw. Oh, okay. The bone marrow has That's been sucked out. Not must be scavengers. Very likely. Plenty around the cemetery. So he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. Doesn't getting torn to pieces a little difficult? A blade. Two fingers wide. It's a pretty small little shiv. Uh, let's ask her what she thinks that means, because she's the expert what here, right? Think it means? Nothing. Anyone can cut somebody up like that. An assassin's okay. dagger. Rams meets men. It'd be nice to find something conclusive. Any suggestions? Let's check his internal organs. Uh, let's let's do that. I guess. Do I actually have to wait for you to do something, or are we just kind of... 
Oh, make sure your hair is in perfect condition before you start ripping out a man's internal organs, Shawnee. I wouldn't want to... Where shall we start? Wouldn't want to... Uh... Wonder, is Fistech the kind of thing you smoke? Let's look at the lungs. Perforated. Odd, the weapon didn't hit any vital organs. I'm sorry, the what? wounds weren't the cause of death? If they were, we'd see pneumothorax. Can you survive pneumothorax? Yes, an average surgeon could cure you. At worst, the hand thing again. The rest of your life whistling when you breathed. Did she just say none of the vital organs were hit after saying they punctured his lungs? Are lungs not a vital organ anymore, Shawnee? Uh, cause I'm pretty sure you need to breathe to live. Look at the heart. The heart's untouched, but the aorta's been cut by a dagger. Ouch. Was it fatal? Yes. What? What kind of a question is that, girl? Yes, if your aorta gets cut by a dagger, you're gonna die. Let's look at the liver. Completely cirrhotic, but he doesn't look a drunk. Poison? Mm, yes. Possibly. It also caused convulsions, paralysis, and cardiac arrest. That explains why rigor mortis lasted so long. Could bandits have obtained such poison? They could have purchased it. That doesn't someone. seem like a difficult a thing to merchant among them. Get. Kulkstein oh also man. Such things. He does, you know. Poisons usually leave a trace. Let's have a look. Huh? Do they have like a signature? Their poisons? Oh yeah, make sure to reach your hand right through his head. That's important. Uh-huh. Are you, are you like comparing the length of your arms to make sure that they're the right dimensions? What's going on here? Look, the tongue was crudely extracted, but not all the blackened tissue was removed. They cut out his tongue? Blackened. Yes, the poison caused necrosis of the tongue, so the murderer removed it. So what well, the hand thing again? The alchemist is the murderer. A gifted alchemist who's a crappy surgeon. That sounds like Kalkstein to me. He wanted to implicate the bandits, but he failed to foresee a professional autopsy. Thanks, Shani. That's the evidence I needed. Good. Hey, we finally have evidence. You need me to walk you back home? Oh, you need me to just you need me to just shove you over for some reason? Kalkstein is guilty. Well. Time to go, uh... Shawnee, it was very helpful. I should visit her one day. You asleep on the job? What happens if I beat Shawnee to her own house? Do you think she'll be there? Let's, let's try. So obviously, unless it took us like 15 hours to get outside that door, which the weather would have changed and the lighting would have changed, we should beat Shawnee to her own house. Let's see if she's teleported here. Old woman, please. I have no patience. What? I'm <sighs> yeah, so, yeah, don't force yourself on her. Thanks, old woman. I know not to rape people. She's here! Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. Um, sure. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. What? Gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However, Dandelion? Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. Of course you don't. You need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. Sure. I'll try. Cherry vodka. Rosé wine. Oh boy. That's not cherry vodka. This is not cherry vodka. None of this is cherry vodka. Damn. Alright, well. I guess we'll work on that later. Actually, how close to the inn are we? Very far away. Okay, so. We'll, we'll, we'll wait on that one then. Um, tell Ramsmead. Actually, I think I'm going to go tell Ramsmead that I know that he's innocent before pressuring Kalkstein. Because it's possible that he'll help me out in some way. So I think I want to cross off the innocent people before I start accusing people of being guilty. That seems like the proper way to go about this. Yeah, that's what happens in England. I know we're not in England. But, you know. We're in Vesima, I guess. Perhaps it rains a lot in Vasima. Where are you guys off to? Okay, we go down here. 
And then we need to buy certain types of alcohol. And tell Ramsmeat that we know that he is an innocent man. And maybe he won't threaten to slit our throat with a mace again. Because that's just not how that works. Waitress! Who do I buy from the innkeeper? Alright, hold on, what do I need here? Old friend of mine. Rose wine, sherry liquor. Okay, never mind. Do I have to talk to the waitress? Waitress? Rose wine, sherry liquor. That's that's one rose. Cherry 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 liqueur. Soldier's hooch. Do you not sell what I'm looking for? Do you not sell what I'm looking for? Woman? Wait, Tamarian Rye? Did I need that? I did need Tamarian Rye. Buy one. Then Cherry. There's no Cherry wine. Cherry beer? I can't be right. Cherry liquor, I mean, it says it's cherry. Is that job well done? Eh, whatever. We'll figure out when we talk to. Ramsmeat isn't here. What do you mean, Ramsmeat isn't here? What? God damn it. Where is he? No, I didn't want to pass. I would like to rest here. I think he shows up during the day, maybe? Let's wait until dawn. Dawn of the next day. Dawn of the third day. Who wants to get slapped? Hmm. Not me. Thanks for the offer, though. Is he not here? Rams meter, are you kidding me with this? Ramsmeat. You joker, where are you? Oh my goodness. Alright, I guess we'll come back later. Alright, let's see if he's there now. That's what I meant when I said come back later. I meant literally walk out the door and walk back in and see if he loads. Did it work? Damn it, it didn't. All right, fine, Ramsmeat. We'll talk later. You jerk. Maybe I can go to his house. I wonder. If the, I highly doubt the bouncers will let me in, but uh, let's give it a shot, right? Looks like I have to deal with these idiots. Hello. Are you lost? Are you? Who lives here? Don't answer a question with a question. It is very rude. Rephrase. Some nerve. This is Ram's Meat's house. Hey, you don't call me a mutant. So scram. <laughs> Good one. Did you just laugh at your own joke, dog? Because that's, like, real stupid. Like, laughing at your own joke is it's pretty... I mean, who would do that? I'm gonna cry. Um, I guess we wait until noon. Maybe he shows up at noon. I just want to tell you that you're innocent, dude. Come on. Let me let me tell you of your own innocence. The thing that you already know. I need the XP. You better be back here, dude. Ramsmeat, I'm so pissed with you right now. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. We'll deal with Ramsmeats later. You know, I'm sick of him. Let's give me. I mean, I need to talk to Shawnee at night. So let's, like, give it. 
maybe he shows up at dusk, you know? Maybe during the day he has a he's a normal nine to five job. I gotta wait until it's dusk time a little later in the night for him to come and unwind at the local pub. No, don't we'll talk to that guy. I highly doubt it, but maybe that that works, you know. Son of a bitch. Conrad, I think. Do I sell the thing? No, you're the guy that I yeah? gave the wine to. Never mind. Whatever. Peace out, dog. I thought he was the guy maybe that uh, I traded the salamander pins to, but that is not the case. Okay, so... We don't know where Ramsmeet is. I guess we'll go talk to Shawnee since she's right here. What is this? Hmm? It's it. What is it? I feel like I'm just wandering aimlessly. So, good old fashioned uh, RPGs, you know? Where you just kind of wander because you have no idea what the hell you're supposed to be doing. We'll go talk to Shawnee and then we'll um, confront Kalkstein and accuse him of murdering people. Even though we're, you know, doing the whole tower quest thing. Oh my god, old woman. I'm here to see the white frost approaches. True. I Yeah. Um thanks for the information, old lady. Yes. You... I have your alcohol. I talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about I'm so Okay, yeah, we've heard about this. Don't I have the alcohol that you want? I'm pretty sure I have the alcohol that you want. Yes. Okay, never mind, I guess. Um, I must supply her with rosé wine, cherry liquor, and termian rye. Termian rye. Rosé. Maybe I don't have the right alcohol? Okay, so maybe I need cherry something else. Um, peddler, do you peddle cherry wine things? No, you just have gifts. Wait, can I sell you this ring? No. Do you sell wine? I mean, I doubt it, but. Or the Sean, right? Yeah. Who else is gonna sell me wine except for the dude at the freaking inn? Like, was the herbalist got some wine on her? Why am I so close to your face? No, of course she's not gonna have wine. Why would she have wine? All right, whatever. Kalkstein, you're a murderer. I'm here to probably kill you, maybe. Oakstein, are you down in your basement? Oh boy, here we go. Oakstein. Oh, okay. There's not a cutscene. Hmm. Yes. I suspected you were working with Javed. You think I lead Salamandra? I'll die laughing. Oh, you'll definitely die. I'm certain. You don't fool me with your scholarly guise. You're a fool, Geralt. That formula needs rethinking. I should keep an eye on him. Quest completed. I should keep an eye on him. You offended me, Witcher. I'm here, keeping an eye on you. I don't really know what it means by I should keep an eye on him, but... Maybe I loot his basket? Where he keeps his secrets? No, he just keeps dried fruit there, okay. Well, that was uneventful. Like, extremely uneventful. Okay, let's go talk to, uh, what's his name? I guess. Maybe Vivaldi has some, some of this wine that I need, this liquor. 
You got liquor on you, my dude? Oh god, his hair is acting up again. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend your beard. Please leave me be. I'm a poor boy. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the dike and then hopefully get something out of that. Because we don't seem to be getting much of anywhere in here. Uh. Alright. Please be here. Please don't make me wait again. My dude? My dude, are you not here? No, he's not here. Son of a bitch. Damn it. Alright, well. I guess we're waiting again. Yay, waiting. Camping out at a fireplace again. Wow. So much going on in this episode. It's just chock full of action. Oh, NPCs not being certain places during certain times of day. I mean, I understand it's realistic, but it's a really bothersome mechanic sometimes, you know? Declan. Oh my god, the fisherman's blocking me again. Get, get out of my way, fisherman. Fisherman, please. I have places to be, things to do, people to see, not much time. Declan, I know you're innocent. Yeah. I've nearly completed my investigation. All right, speak. If you don't work with Salamandra, who are you? A modest merchant. Who are you? Allow me to show gratitude with a gift. Quit bluffing, Declan. This symbol signifies my secret society. Oh. We seek to destroy Salamandra. Learn anything useful? The Salamanders have risked much. This is a political matter, let me tell you. Mm, tell me. The largest schemes at play in Redania. Oh, Redania. Few people know the secret. King Faltest, the Lodge of Sorceresses, and I watch the Northern Border. You're in line with How does this the king? To Salamandra? As of Javed has sent a special force north. My men saw them. He too knows something's brewing and is making preparations. Did I get the... Well, I thought you gave me like a symbol or something. High quality potion base. I already have rosé, right? Yeah, you got the rosé. The fact that it's a high quality potion base makes me want to buy it though. Okay. So we've dealt with him. We just need to find Ramsmead. Wherever the heck he may be. And tell him that he's innocent. We need to find more evidence. Oh, it's time to go to Raymond's house already? I kind of wanted to talk to Ramsmead and tell him that he's innocent, so. But, uh, I guess. I don't know. I can't seem to find him, so I'll check the inn one more time and see if he's there this time. Since it's date, maybe he's a day drinker, you know? I, I don't know his life, right? So let's see if he's there during the day. Why is this lit up? Wait, it actually wants me to go into Ramsmeet's house? How am I supposed to get past the freaking guards? The meatheads won't let me in. Like, uh, no, nobody allowed in uh, Mr. Ramsmeat's house, okay? You see, uh, look. He didn't say nothing ab nothing about you. You, uh, freaking mutant. I'll All pay right, you. Nerd. Mr. Ramsmeat. I'm gonna let you sleep while I loot your house really quickly. You mind telling me what this dust is doing here? You got raspberries? Who do you think you're dealing with here, Ramsmeat? 
I don't know. I don't really think like I need half this stuff. Oh yeah, what do you got in your wardrobe, huh? Wine? Only a murderer would keep wine in the wardrobe. What's in your basement? Is this where all the skeletons are hidden? Ooh, saltpeter. Ooh, blueberries. You keep strawberries in a trunk. You mad, man. They're going to rot. Alright, anyways, now that I'm done looting your house, Ram's meat! What do you want, Wolf? I know you're innocent. Want the truth about Salamandra? I'm listening. Someone wanted me to believe you led Salamandra. I think I want him as an ally, so. Salamandra sent you. Hmm. That's interesting. They really We're being played. They tried to poison me and sent several masked assholes. Why are you an uncle? But that's all too little for Uncle Ramsby. What, what made you an uncle? You were their next attempt. I know you're fighting Salamandra. I'm hunting them too. Javid wants to take over my business. He decided to start with the girl. Oh, you're a pimp. Know why? Though he left Zerakim. I thought you were just like a bandit lord or something. A mage. Deep inside, he's remained a fucked up wild man. Now you get it? Not really. He's yeah, not really. Instinct. Oh my he goodness! That Zeracanian cock of his, and he's got some strange fetishes. Likes fire. Oh, my girls okay. are still shitless, and they don't scare dead easily. Thanks. That Did that help? No problem. At all? See ya. I don't really know that that helped, but at least I have information now. I guess. That's supposed to be helpful. Alright, so now we can go talk to uh, Raymond. But let's hit up. Where am I supposed to get this freaking alcohol, man? Do you sell anything? Nice. Nope, you just play poker. See ya. So maybe in the brothel they have alcohol, right? Uh, or there's just no one in the brothel? Hello? Uh, this is a business establishment, am I correct? Why is there no one here? <laughs> Are you not open during the day? What's... okay. I guess I'll just leave then. thought there'd at least be someone inside. All right. Let's see if we can find this this red wine or whatever, whatever it is that we're looking for. Cherry something vodka, bubblegum flavored, some girly drink thing, I guess. Cherry liqueur. I need your cherry liqueur. Cherry beer. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm pretty stupid when it comes to alcohol. Is I assume beer is different from liquor, right? Yeah? So that can't be it, right? Red wine. It's not cherry. Cherry spirit cord this this could be it. That could be it. Yeah yeah yeah. I think that's it, right? We don't need this weak alcohol. We don't need this either. So, cherry spirit, yeah, that's what we want. Yes! I found it out. I've learned about alcohol. I've never had a drink in my life. Well, I've had like one, but I don't drink, so I don't know much about alcohol. So you'll, you'll have to excuse me for being completely retarded when it came to that quest. Hey, you wanna die? You want to die, son? Because we can tussle, okay? 
We can tussle if you'd like to, sir. So now we're gonna go talk to Shawnee. We're gonna finish up that quest. Then we're gonna go talk to Vincent. We're gonna finish up that quest. Now we're gonna get the heck out of here and go back to the swamp and finish up those quests. Hopefully. And then maybe we can move on to another act? Possibly? It feels like kind of, you know, this act is like getting ready to wrap up. That's why I'm so hesitant to go to Vincent. I feel like... I feel like Vincent is the end of this act, you know? Like, if we talk to him and confront, uh... Kalkstein, I feel like that's the end of the act. And it'll take us to the next act. And I have a bunch of side quests that I want to finish up, so I'm... Hesitant to go talk to Vincent. So I apologize if you're like, just go talk to Vincent, idiot. Get out of the scene where this place sucks. I agree with you. I hate this place, trust me. This place is getting a little samey for me, you know? I'd like a change of scene. Old woman. I don't I'm here, Get out. But... She just kicked me out of the house? Old woman, why do you do this? Well... I need but do I have to actually give you alcohol? Oh my god, old woman, leave me be, please. I'm yeah. You can Okay, why do some of the dialogues just kick me out? Like some of the dialogues is just like, oh, you're not allowed in my house. Yes. I brought some liquor. I have the liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. That's it. I must invite one person to Shawnee's party. Really? Old woman, you want to go to a party? I know exactly who I want to invite. Ram's meat. <laughs> oh, man. What do you think she would do? If I just showed up and was like, hey, here's the local pimp. Is it cool if he hangs out for a bit? Yeah, me and him go, like, you know, a few days back. In fact, we were trying to kill each other. Funny story. We really wanted to kill each other just a few days ago. But then we settled our differences. And now we're bestest friends. Coming soon to ABC. Jerry and Ramsmeat. Watch the fun sitcom. They used to hate each other. There's Zoltan. Zoltan, what? Come back. Where'd you go, dude? Zoltan, you can't just disappear on me. From the writers of the classic game The Witcher. Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Where to have the alcohol? Farewell. Okay. I've invited her to the party. Him to her party. Help. Help me. My mind is rotting from being in Basima for so long. I've caught the plague! No! Is my inventory a little less cluttered now that I've got all that alcohol out of it? Yeah, it is. What are you mad about? You sell herbs for a living. During a plague infested era, you. Probably should be pretty old woman. What now? Such debauchery under my roof. What? She hooks herself a musician or something. It's the famous poet Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a oh, crying brat. Okay, then, woman. Now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally, you're making sense. Are, are we getting along with the old woman now? Hello, I'm here for the party. Very lively party you've got going here, Shawnee. I see you. Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait. To oh boy, you. we get to talk to Dan. Let me just save this before I piss Dandelion off and possibly kill him. Oh boy, Dandelion. Hello, friend. Geralt. I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. I no, do I'm look very ghost. pale and have white hair. So. Losing my mind. Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? 
I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And hey, there was a Yorpen what? and Milva, Cahir and Angulem, and Yarpen and Zoltan. We all witnessed Why was there a unicorn? I have lost my memory. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything. What the hell did happen? Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends eating escargot, drinking Do vodka. You drink vodka with a escargot? Mob attacked the non hmm. district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Yeah, but I'm a witcher? Are you telling me everything? So I don't really think I would die to a pitchfork to the chest. Oh, meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones, I have loved ones? Your friends. I mean, there's that witch I slept with a few while, a while back, but... It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. I'm literally standing right here. I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down, have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. I'm Jerry of Riv Riv River Town. I'd know. I think I need a drink. Do I really just like that? That's my quest to just have a drink. You invite anyone? A dwarf. Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. He should be showing up any minute now. To this extremely lively party that we're having. I've been thinking and I have a question. Right now. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. Is your name Let's really Dandelion? Your next contract is a vampire. What would you Probably get like garlic and something. Silver, yeah. Silver sword, potions. What are you driving at? <laughs> what if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? I'm sorry, what? If you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, I'd be long unemployed. What? What is that? Is that supposed to be funny? Cause I I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna talk about black magic, I guess. Born from black magic, evil by nature. If I could teach a proxy to hunt rabbits, I'd be out of a job. He's losing a lot of blood, and it's rarely the vampire. And what if the vampire doesn't care to drink blood? Then it's not a vampire, dog. Like. But I think you have something else in mind. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a vampire. What? Cheers. Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. What you were about to enlighten me. I'm so concerned. I just so did concerned. that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat. Ooh, someone's coming. Is Dandelion trying to tell me he's a vampire? It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for good bees. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. Oh, God. The party is going on. I feel like Dandelion's about to tell me that he's a vampire, but we keep getting interrupted by drinking, I guess. Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Bees is best, I always say. It depends. Um, for a romantic ugh. dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. Isn't that just a benefit of being a wine, but don't mind liquor dwarf? In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments. Why are we zoomed in so far on his face? It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain. I'm gonna be sick. Oh god. Sweetness. Let's test it. Cheers! How are we test are we like fighting now? What are we testing? I'm gonna pass out. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. I admire both of you, Shanis. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. I wonder if you actually have options to invite other people. And I'm curious as to what those other options end up with. Like, could I invite Ramsmeat? Or Kalkstein or something? As I was saying. 
Unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood. Yeah, he's so definitely going to tell me he's a vampire, isn't blood, he? My dear monster slayer is like booze to them. Where do you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Is this the reveal? You had a true friend who was a vampire. Yep. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did. So the joke's on you. Uh oh. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Well then, this is awkward. Me up. This is becoming an even bigger sitcom. You could pull red hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif God wow. died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. He joined Let's Regis drink. and Kelly and started Geralt doing Stratton. news in the morning, I guess. Am I gonna drink until I'm just like completely dead? Let's drink to our mistakes. Oh my god. I'm it's seriously I'm there. seriously going to be motion sick from this. You hungry? I'd really like the screen effect to stop. Bread. But we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a few larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. I already stole sure. those. Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them, too. I already stole those episodes ago. Why me? Yes! Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about. And Dandelion, well, he'd mess up. Yeah, he would. All right. I'll be right back. I'm really grateful that I already stole these things. I did steal these things, right? Please tell me I stole these things. Hello? I would really like to think that I've already stolen these things. Let's drink to our mistakes. Go for it. Oh my god, I thought I stole them already. I don't want to do it in this state. It's completely dark down there. Oh my god. This is terrible. Why? Why? Why did I do this side quest? Why did I choose to do this side quest? Drunken Geralt goes and tries to steal stuff from an old lady. That's just, that's the second episode of, uh, of the new sitcom, Jerry and Ramsmead. They get into some drunken debauchery and go and try and steal some pickles and lard from an old woman. New on Fox. Oh, I thought it was ABC. Maybe, maybe, maybe Fox picks it up for like the third season because the first two seasons don't do too well on ABC. Or is it the, is it the other way around? I can't remember. Is Fox the one that kills shows and then other stations pick them up? I think that's how it goes. And then it goes on for way too many seasons, and it stops getting funny by, like, the fourth one. And you kind of like it still, but you're like, eh, it kind of lost its charm a while back, and then, you know, etc, etc. That's just how these things go. Alright, Zoltan, I have your pickles and lard, my dude. Any success? I hope. Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do. Oh my god, I'm actually going to be sick if the screen effect doesn't go away. This is the worst quest I've ever seen. I actually have severe motion sickness, and this is really, really making me nauseous. I think I I'm gonna close my eyes for a moment here. We'd love to hear it. Yeah, please. Sing away, Dandelion. Yep, okay. Oh, thank god, the screen effect is gone. I can look at the screen again. Can you see Wolf in all his might? This is the theme song, by the way, to uh, Jerry and Ramsmead. With delight. My oh my, what a sight. Why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed. That is why so jolly. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, that's, that's our theme song right there, dude. Can you see? Wolf just limps along. Looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Shawnee's the love interest that he never gets with. So badly rampaged, must be that. Or maybe that's Siri, I don't remember. Or lately engaged. Or maybe there's a love triangle. Ooh. We're getting we're getting a good writing session for this uh first season right here. 
Oh God, stop. How's the wife? Ah, uh, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. She just fell asleep at her own party. She's also not asleep right there. Yes. Do I have flowers? Here's some beggar tick. Oh, Geralt. What is this? Here are some roses. And say thanks. Oh my god, please stop being intoxicated. Hey, can I sleep off the intoxication here? Yes. Th thank you. I just need to meditate in front of your fire so I stop being intoxicated really quickly. Just give me 12 hours to, you know, kind of sleep this one off. It's been a rough day. Oh my god, finally. Alright, now we need to go get some roses for my lady. And then tip the fedora. Herbalist, you sell roses, correct? What do you Red roses. What color roses do I get? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, what color roses? What do you Oh god, it's such a difficult decision. Uh I think white roses is for um people that you just think are friends. Yellow roses is for I can't remember, and red roses is for people that you love. By the way, what I'm talking about is actually like legitimate. There, there's like a legitimate language of flowers type thing that you have to know about. If you just look it up, if you're planning on giving flowers to someone. What's? I'm here to. She's busy. I didn't your mother teach. But... Wow, kicked out by the old woman. Also, isn't she at work right now? Let's have a drink of tea. Do you have tea? Water? Water? Tea? Bottled water? But. Oh my god, this old woman. Stop it, old woman. Where? I'm here. Sits in our room. Beast. Get out! But. No! Old woman! You foil me yet again! She's the final boss. This old woman will be the final boss. Mark my words. Web. I need Get but. I hate this old woman that Shawnee rents a room from. Oh. It's not. No need. Then could you? Didn't your? But. All right, fine. You know what? Fine. Fine. Fine, we'll go to Kalkstein's house. We'll see if he'll let us meditate, even though we annoyed him. Get Good nope, okay. So we lost that ability to... rest. Vivaldi, I don't think we can rest at Vivaldi's place. We'll just keep trying this old woman. Please, old woman, I beg of you. Allow me to see Shawnee. I must finish the quest. Well. Oh, thanks. I guess. She's being really nice for some reason. Hey, Shawnee's actually here. Yes. Have the day off of work. I have some roses for you. Red roses, Geralt. So you. I told you the color mattered, dog. You're blushing. That's because I'm married and I'm a smart boy. But seriously, look it up if you're ever planning on giving, uh, you know, flowers to someone. Look it up. I'm telling you. Even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. I assume she's talking about me, right? Oh no, dollar. Whoa. We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed. By two men wearing gray coats over special forces armor. I didn't actually realize that this would actually be part of the main storyline. I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? 
Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Nice. Tyler said to the men, this better be important. One of them answered, but chief, we hid invisible like. Tyler said, your balls will be invisible like when I shove wow. them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How did it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Ah. Who were they? Boltes secret police. When we first met in Oxen. Oh no, the secret police, they're after me. Agents. The Tamarian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenford, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. Oh. So this is happening. Are we going downstairs? Oh, to the desk. How classy of you, Geralt. This is the season finale of uh, the first season of Jerry and and Ramsmeat. Okay, that card's actually not so bad that we have to censor it, I don't think. So, thanks game, I guess. Unlike the first one. Do things get awkward now or We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Wow, she's just gonna hit we'll it and talk. quit it. Alright, I see how it is, Shawnee. Just gonna hit it and quit it. Jesus, man. Can't believe you're just gonna do me like that, Shawnee. Was I nothing to you? Um, so we're supposed to tell someone that they're innocent? Thaler? Thaler of the fence? Down here? Alright, so we'll talk to Thaler, tell him he's innocent, and then we'll probably cut this episode, and next episode will be confront confrontation against Kalkstein with Mr. Uh, Vincent. Yo, Thaler, wake up, dog. So we'll let I just finished the plowing business, my friend. Uh, I know about your tryst. I'm not Shana. sure where we're supposed to go with this. Oh, fuck off. Hey, you, you didn't mean that. Plowing philanderers, some of us have depth. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Can you get me inside the cemetery? I would actually like to know about the cemetery. Anything. But I don't feel like you can do anything. How can I convince you? This damn investigation is getting tired. Oh, well, I've already done that, so good for me, I guess. I've figured out Salamandra. Right. You're clean. I have proof you're not working for Azar. What a revelation. Well, don't ask so smug about it. Almost as if someone was framing you. You jerk. I underestimated you, Witcher. Many do. Mm, they do. I'll let you Indeed. know something. I might have gotten on Azor's bad side once. The bastard lusts after antiques and luxuries, like any savage who makes a corner too. I was once asked to handle an entire transport of that shit. Turned out it was for him. So you. Except I needed the city guard's help at the time. Ah, confiscated it. I tipped Vincent off and they confiscated everything. I've needed even more protection since. So does that prove Vincent's? Influence? In innocence or. Oh. So Actually, I just need to use you to level up. Do you mind if I borrow your fire really quick? I think I hit level 15, right? Yeah, I've got silver talents now. Sweet! Uh, plus two vitality. It does seem like it could come in handy. Although. So does that. Plus 10% damage. Mm. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that for now. Now let's go back to some of these bronze talents. We can get some of these incineration ones. Then we'll work on uh, maybe some group steel. Get some precise hits. Perfect. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment with whatever you feel like commenting, and subscribe for more in the future. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.